Hello and welcome to Learn JavaScript on Code Academy. We are in the introduction to JavaScript section, lesson six. This deals with math.random. And it says, as it turns out, JavaScript has some tricks up its sleeve to make our lives easier. JavaScript has built-in functions which help us do everyday things. We'll learn more about functions later in the course, so don't worry about understanding what they are right now. Sometimes it's necessary to generate a random number within a program. We can do that with this code, math.random. This code will return a random number between 0 and 1. JavaScript will generate a random number for us with this code. To generate a random number between 0 and 50, we could multiply this result by 50 like so. So they take the math.random, generating a number between 0 and 1, and then they just multiply it times 50, and that should give a random number between 0 and 50. The problem with this is that the answer will most likely be a decimal. Luckily, JavaScript has our back with another built-in function called math.floor. Math.floor will take a decimal number, round it down to the nearest whole number. It is used like this. They have math.floor, and then inside of it they put math.random times 50 which pretty much it'll take and make a number between 0 and 50 but it's partly a decimal but since we apply math.floor it'll automatically round down to the nearest whole number so in this case math.random will generate a random number between 0 and 1 we then multiply that number by 50 so now we have a number between 0 and 50 then math.floor will round the number down to the nearest whole number let's utilize these two methods to generate a random number between 0 and 100 so console.log and we're going to do math.random parentheses because it is a function times 100 so that should generate a random number between 0 and 100 so inside of a console.log create a where is it oh inside of a console.log create a random number with math.random then multiply it by 100 if you run the program a few times you'll see a random number in the console so let's run that so we did get 56.7 if I run it one more time I get 80.92 so I am getting random numbers part 2 says now utilize math.floor to make the output a whole number inside the console.log you wrote in the last step put math.random times 100 inside of parentheses of math floor. So we go inside our console log here and we do a math.floor and we put all this stuff inside of math.floor. So now it's going to do this math random times 100 which will generate a number between 0 and 100 which is probably a decimal and will automatically floor it round it down to the nearest whole number so if I click run right now we should expect a whole number and there we have a 97 do it again we got a 4 13 so that's what math floor is allowing us to do is just get a, a, a whole number and that is Part 3 says run the program a few times, see random numbers between 0 and 100. Math.random is a function that returns us a random value each time. Later in the course, we will use this function to simulate a decision from the computer. It's a typo here. But yeah, so we will use this function to simulate a decision from the computer later on. Just for now, that is lesson 6.